Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Wiens. I'm in Kota Baru in the Kelantan state of Malaysia. This is a state that's known for their culture, their art, and especially Kelantanese unique food, which is incredibly delicious. Uh, today we are gonna go on a Kelantanese Malay food tour. We're gonna eat some of the iconic dishes of Kelantan. We're gonna start with what is one of the most iconic, one of the most well-known dishes, especially for breakfast in Kelantan. We just arrived to the first restaurant. This place is called Nasi Karabu Panji, and they serve Nasi Karabu, which is one of the most popular dishes, especially it's known as a breakfast dish in Kelantan. Um, you can see the smoke just pouring from the grill, the meaty aroma. They have a lineup here. You choose what you want on top of your rice, and yeah, Nasi Karabu, this is one of the greatest dishes from Kelantan. Uh, Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah, and I think it's also one of the most beautiful dishes in Malaysia and maybe in the world. Nasi means rice, caribou means salad, and so it's always rice salad. Um, one of the common versions is the blue rice, which is colored with butterfly pea flowers. Uh, but they also have yellow rice, they have just white rice, they have other versions of rice. And then I chose a fish, which is called, um, I, um, which is called ikan perchik, which is like a, it's like a coconut milk barbecue sauce to go with it. I've had nasi karabu a couple times in Malaysia, but this is my first time in Kelantan, so I am like overjoyed and can hardly contain my excitement. Let's dig in. And then Joel got a plate with the, the kambing bakar, which is grilled. He said lamb, but I believe it's goat. Uh, or it could be lamb. First mix in with the rice and salad. You can see how vibrant that, that color, the, the rice is. Let's just taste the rice and the salad first, um, because that is what nasi karabu is. And then after that, move in for for other things. Mm. Mm. Oh. oh, that is that is superb. It's so herbaceous, refreshing. Yeah. What herb is that? Maybe um possibly Vietnamese coriander. You taste a little bit of fishiness. The coconut, the coconut in there just also just magnifies the flavor. I'm gonna squeeze on the lime, mix that around again. Okay, I'll go in for that chili. With the, That's uh, minced fish, I believe, plus grated coconut. Oh yeah, as soon as you break into that, you can see the texture. There's so much grated coconut in there. <laughs> you can like not only taste the coconut, but you can feel the grated coconut. Oh, and that sour squeeze of lime, that also like enhances everything. Scoop out the salted egg. For the fish, um, I believe it's like a mackerel. Take off a piece of the side of the fish. That coconut milk, like it's like a barbecue sauce. Onto the rice salad. Mm. Oh, that fish is incredibly smoky. And then it's like rich from the coconut cream. Oh, I wasn't expecting the fish to be that smoky. You gotta taste the fish. And, and I just tried the first bite of, maybe, probably it's goat, and I had the same reaction. It's unbelievably smoky. Let's taste each other's. Oh. That tastes like, like honey barbecue sauce. The goat is great, but I think I really love the fish the best. That's such a smoky flavor. And that barbecue sauce, that, that coconut milk barbecue sauce is so rich. Stick this in the middle of my rice, and what I saw one of the guys do who's eating across the table from us is he takes the cracker and just like crunches it on top. So you add another dimension of texture. This is might be a pro tip, a pro move. Yep. <laughs> I do want to get some of that pickled garlic in there too. Or maybe, I don't know if I can break this, I might just have to bite into it. Okay, well we'll save that for next bite, get a little bit of the salted egg going in there. The like mix of flavors, the smoky fish, the sambal, the salad, the herbaceousness. I'm gonna try that pickled garlic. Mmm. That's wonderful though. That's like another blast of flavor early in the morning. Washing that down with some tetarik. 
Okay, and there's one more thing that we gotta try here. I'm not sure if I can remember the name, guys. I think it's called nasi tumpang, but it's like a cone-shaped, a very long cone shape. There's rice in here with different layers wrapped into a banana leaf. Look at the size of this, though. It's like a, it's like a, a parking cone. You, you could use this as a parking cone. <laughs> okay, we're gonna unwrap. Take this out. Oh no, I, I think I messed up a layer. Oh, we lost the, the top hat. Okay, I'm just gonna. Look at how beautiful. Okay, I cheated a little bit, but put it back together. <laughs> oh, that is beautiful. An entire cone of rice. You can even see a shrimp in there. You can definitely see the grains of rice, but mushed together at the bottom. I can see egg, like an omelet, and a shrimp in there, in that midsection. Then more rice, then some like shredded meat. And then the rice gets like more and more condensed and compressed as you go to the, to the top of it. I think I'm just gonna go straight in for the center there. Get some of the rice. You wanna try this? Oh yeah, that is like an omelet and shrimp. This is like a tiny little oh, construction. I got some of the omelet, I think, and a, a shrimp in that bite. Mm -hmm. Oh, pepper. Did you get any peppers? I got a whole. Maybe that was in your. Mm -hmm. I taste like coriander seed though. Mm -hmm. Okay. I taste coriander seed. I don't think it's glutinous rice though. It's like regular rice, just mm. like compressed. It's kind of just like a takeaway, natural takeaway, all in one little cone packet. <laughs> well, that was an incredible way to begin this day, this Kalantanese food tour in Kotabaru. Uh, nasi karabu, it's such a beautiful dish. It's so incredibly delicious. And the next place, is one that really specializes, is known for their kambing bakar, which is the, the grilled goat nasi yes. caribou. <laughs> yes. So breakfast number two. What a dish, dude. <laughs> I couldn't believe it. The texture lover's dream, really. I got some, got some remnants on the lens here. Caribou. Some salad in the <laughs> lens. I've got some rice salad in the lens. <laughs> okay, the next place is called Jijaz. Jijaz nasi caribou. Something that's amazing about Kotabaru is that it does have a central downtown area that's that, that's a real city, but then as soon as you get off the main roads, it's so quiet, you like go right immediately into the countryside. It's still the city, but it's really spread out. People have rice fields, there's cows, there's coconut trees. It's just a fruit tropical paradise. Right now we're pretty close to the ocean, uh, but this restaurant is right in the neighborhood. Uh, what a relaxing, calming setting. Again, you can see the smoke pouring out of the chimney from the grilling meat. We're here again to eat nasi karabu. Nasi karabu, kambing kam bakas. They're so friendly, like all the entire family is just welcoming us. Their key things here is that they serve usually yellow rice, uh, which is flavored with turmeric or colored with turmeric. Thank you. There's a very strong and almost mandatory reason why you should try multiple plates of nasi karabu because they're so different. And this one is totally different from the last version that we tried. Uh, starting with the rice, which is yellow rice, which I believe is colored with turmeric. It's just a very, very light, almost transparent yellow. Then they put on the salad, which I believe is mostly uh, Vietnamese coriander or rao ram or um, laksa leaf. They add on the budu sauce, which is the fermented. I forgot to also mention that that's also a necessary component of uh, nasi karabu is the budu, the fermented anchovy sauce. And then their specialty here is the, the kambing bakar, which is the grilled goat meat. Yeah. Karabu number two, <laughs> you ready? <laughs> yes, I'm excited. It... <laughs> oh. mm. That one you can really taste the, Gosh, that the is Vietnamese coriander herb in there. Creamy. That's all. That's rich, really coconutty. Um, it's sweet, but the sweetness does complement everything. Okay, we've got to move in for that meat. You can see there's bones still on it. This meat looks incredible. Perfectly grilled. It's so aromatic, and it feels tender in your, your fingers. Oh, wow. <laughs> it is sweet, 
but you taste the caramelized smokiness. There's like cumin in there, lemongrass, maybe even coconut milk. <laughs> what an amazing range of flavor. I'm gonna get everything in one. Again, scoop out the salted egg. Oh, that just slid out this time. <laughs> I'm gonna mix in with the meat, with the salad and rice all in one massive bite of nasi caribou. <laughs> That's a size, oh, I lost some sizable bite of nasi caribou at the tips of my fingers. Oh, yep. I got a boom. Oh, everything together with that creamy salted egg, the herbs, the coconut cream, the coconut cream curry, and the shredded coconut, and the meat. What a bite to, to remember forever. Don't explode everywhere. Another thing that's very common to do is take, I think they're fish crackers, and just crunch them up and eat this all together as well. Mix in, and for this bite, I will go in for the, the chili with the fish and grated coconut, more coconut. I really love this component of nasi caribou, the, the chili stuffed with fish and, and coconut. It's really an amazing, fruity, tropical, coconutty delight. The crackers just sort of disintegrate into the rice and the sambal. <laughs> mm. Mm. You can eat the stem and all. Oh. <laughs> I want a whole plate of those. Wow. That was just spectacular. And again, you can just kind of fold over your paper when you are finished, completed. And then for dessert, Ying got this little banana leaf wrapped packet. Not sure exactly what it is. Oh, there's a whole bunch of like shredded coconut in there, yeah? It feels like glutinous rice on the bottom. Oh, there's three layers. Wow, that's beautiful. Again, the triple layering. The, the glutinous rice looks like beans in the center and then shredded coconut. Not actually totally sure what this is, but I think I'm gonna just try to get a little bit of everything. Yeah, it's very, very sticky. Whoa. Maybe like either sugar or honey, some of the beans, and then some of the coconut. Really just completely sticks to your fingers too. <laughs> beans. Yep, that's beans on the inside. Mm. That's just pure shredded coconut. And you've got three different textures, full different textures. The, the glutinous um, sticky rice, the creamy beans, the crunchy but like yet yeah, fluffy coconut. It was incredibly amazing and just talking with the family, um, the owner, it's still family owned. They're so nice. They're so friendly. <laughs> <laughs> it's an amazing, amazing place. Terima kasih, Dap. Terima kasih. Okay. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. Terima kasih. What an incredible family. They were so nice, so friendly, so welcoming. That was the true display of Kalantanese culture. And just blown away by that incredible food, the nasi karabu. That was unbelievably delicious. From here, we are driving back into the center of Kotabaru, um, and there is what is one of the, it's one of the most beautiful markets, one of the, the main, the, it's the main local market of Kotabaru, known for their local food and, and everything. So we're gonna go check it out. We're gonna eat some more food there. We are on our way, and I can't wait to explore the market. We made it to the market. This is an amazing painting mural representing Kalantan stink beans, one of my first personal favorite ingredients. Budu, which is the fermented anchovy fish sauce. There's chilies, three beautifully powerful, delicious ingredients that just represent Kalantan. This market is called officially, I believe, Siti Kidija Market. And you walk around, there's vegetables, there's fruits, there's everything you could possibly, all the ingredients you could, you could possibly need to make Kalantanese food. Uh, but then you come into the center, and this is the iconic center. It's a big, like, not really, sort of a dome with natural light coming in. How many sides are there to this octagon? Well, more than an octagon maybe, but it's every side is painted a different color. And I believe that you can also get some cooked food here too, uh, which we'll, we'll try to find as well. Tempoya. Oh yeah, okay, I just located two of my favorite ingredients, pickled stink beans and tempoya, fermented durian. Ying immediately spotted some mushrooms. This is a, a mushroom that's common throughout the Malay Peninsula, um, which are dried, which is really good in a curry that we're gonna bring back home. 
Okay, moving up to the next level. Um, and I think this is where the, the food court is and then you can also get a view over the entire market as well. Step upstairs and immediately you're greeted by a, like a bunch of curry stalls. The aromas, the spices, the curry paste, the fish. In Bangkok, <laughs> yes. Ah, Terimakasi. <laughs> on the tablet, they're watching one of our videos. Uh, so we stopped to get some laksam here, and he also has laksam and laksa, but it appears it's the same thing, just the noodles are different, and the laksam has more of a wide noodle that he uses. Ah, lakso. It's the Thai guy, right? Okay. Oh, so it's the different noodles. Lax, ah. Laksa and laksam. Yes, this laksam, this laksam. Ah, so it's the noodle size, yeah? Yes. Ah, okay. Terima kasih. Okay, I got my bowl of laksam. I'm gonna sit here. Everyone is so friendly. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. You can see the the laksam. It comes. It's a it's a coconut milk based gravy. There's a lot of herbs in here. Again, there's bean sprouts. I believe there's the rau ram, the Vietnamese coriander. There's oh there's a and these are the noodles. The laksam noodles. It's like a thick noodle roll which they cut, which they slice into a, a roll up. So that's a full noodle roll. Mmm. Mmm. Oh wow. Again. It's all about the herbs, the coriander, the bean sprouts, and then those noodles. It's like so thick that it's almost like, it almost tastes like compressed rice. But they are very smooth. They go down really, really easily. The next step, now that I've tasted it, is to add some of the sambal. So this is some of the shrimp paste with chilies. Sambal belacan. Okay. This is the shrimp paste sambal. Perfect. I'll, I'll stick with that for now. Mix it in with that coconut milk. Mmm, but the coconut milk curry itself is very mild. It's not spicy, but then you do add that sambal, which that's delicious. And those noodles, the laksam noodles, they just kind of sort of like disintegrate in your mouth. I'm just gonna drizzle on one more spoon of the sambal. Oh yeah. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Spicy, but that Vietnamese coriander, that's the highlight, the laksa leaf. It just like provides such a vibrancy and an herbal taste to the entire dish. Very good. Sit up. <laughs> These guys are like cheering as Mark, Mark douses the sambal on his dish. They're like, <laughs> yeah, it's such an awesome situation here. Such wow. a cool situation, such an amazing place. Mm, mm. Oh, and by the way, one more fact. Um, unique fact, interesting fact. Kelantan is known to use, they use coconut milk, they use coconut all over Malaysia. But in Kelantan, Kelantanese Malay cuisine uses, is known to use the most coconut milk and the most coconut in their cuisine out of all of Malaysia. So get ready to eat some coconut, which is a very good thing when you visit Kelantan. And again, what made it even better than just the good food is the people and the friendliness. As we were going up the stairs, I saw a lady who's selling all sorts of different Kalantanese uh, desserts. Uh, there's a couple of very well-known desserts I want to try. Hello. I think that's the one right there. A kok? Yes. A kok. Me? Oh, this one. Tahi ite. You call tahi ite. Tahi ite. Tahi ite. Yes. Okay. And then? Jalemas. Jalemas. All right. Okay, three. Only. I'll have three different things, okay. okay. One of the main Kalantanese desserts that I wanted to try is called akok. When you pick it up, it's kind of like, kind of floppy and kind of like, I don't, you can't tell if it's egg, but you, you can also almost feel that it's kind of juicy at the same time. Uh, I'm not totally sure. I know there's coconut milk in it. You're not totally sure what to expect before you take a bite, so I'm gonna take a bite. like custardy. <laughs> yeah, very soft. Wow, it's like a solid custard almost. There's not like a bread, bready body to it. It's like an egg like coconut an egg custard, custard, I think. Yeah. I think that's what it is. And then just caramelized on the outside. Yeah, that tastes like a, like a griddle fried custard. I like it. And then the very friendly lady selling the dessert, she also recommended this, uh, it's like a dessert snack pack. 
Yeah, that is sweet. And kind of, you can taste the texture of it. I don't know if that's cornmeal or like semolina. Another ingredient I just cannot get over from the east coast of Malaysia is tempoyak, which is fermented durian. And so I'm using this opportunity at the market. They have one stall in the center that has some bottles of, of the fermented durian. I gotta buy some and take it home. It's just too good to, to miss. And as much as I'd like to just stay in this market for the rest of the day and keep on eating, we're gonna move on because we have a few more things to eat. Nice to meet you. Um, and yeah, you can get lots of, you can buy tempoyak and voodoo to bring home with you. Two life-changing ingredients. From here, we are driving, it's a, again a little bit outside of town, uh, and we're going to eat another rice and mixed dishes, especially vegetables that you eat with the voodoo fermented fish sauce. Not too long, about a 20 minute drive outside of Kota Baru, and we're in a place called Pasir Mas. Hello. Nasi ulam. Yes. Okay, great. Wow. wow. So first you walk through the line and they have a bunch of curries. You choose different curries to go with your rice. Then you come over here to the condiment station, and at the condiment station, one of the main condiments that you're gonna wanna eat with the raw vegetables is budu, and with your rice is the fermented anchovy sauce, which is fixed with some chilies, and I think green mango. And they have a whole tub of tempoyak, which is the fermented durian. Oh, that smells so good. Tempoyak? Tempoyak, yes. Tempoyak, yeah, very good. Very well for food. I love tempoyak. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah, that, that's the budu. Dude, they have a tub of it. They have a year's supply over there. Okay now with some vegetables and this is really the ulam the raw vegetables oh these are like some i think asian pennywort leaves there's some winged beans I'm gonna get some winged beans these are the cashew tree leaves one of my favorites gotta get a bunch of cucumbers and then oh yes yes And soup, soup Peru. I don't get that. Ah, okay. okay, it's there. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. Terima kasih. So it's just kind of free for all. You just grab and take whatever you want, and then they look at what you got, and then they calculate everything you 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 took. Add that all up, depending on your portion size and whatever you took, and then you you pay at the end. Again, a spectacular restaurant. The staff are so friendly, and the owners of the restaurant are so nice. You gotta have rice, and you gotta have the ulam, the raw vegetables. Uh, and so that's what this meal is. But then, of course, we got a fish. We got some uh, shrimp curry. We got some shells. We got some soup perut, which is, it appears to be a stomach, um, a variety of stomachs in a white milky broth. Oh, and then tempoyak, which, you will not forget you got this because you can smell the entire table and restaurant smells of it and it smells incredible. Voodoo is an amazing sauce and they put chilies in it, they put green mango. I think I'm gonna just start with some, let's just try that voodoo. And I've got a wad of, these are cashew tree leaves. Mm. I'm gonna get a little bit of that mango, but just, just to taste the, the voodoo first. Mm. Mm. The, the cashew tree leaves are, those are like hockey. That's the flavor. That cotton mouth right there, immediate. Okay, let's move into the, the ikan bakar. It has kind of a shell peel back. That, that's like a really hard shell outer skin. I think this is a, like a tuna. And then you can see that sambal stuffed inside of there. Grab a piece of that fish. Now you dip that into the budu. Stick that onto my rice. Then you can kind of mix in, you can go in with a chili, and you can see immediately how the, the budu sauce just, just it stains yeah. the rice in that red, red-orange color. Grab a chili on this bite with some of the fish. Mm. Mm. Oh. With the grilled fish, with the budu, with the chili. Mm. Mm. It's just amazing flavor. And such a like complexity yeah. of fermented fish and salt and that's umami. We gotta make the next step though. I'm gonna scoop some of this tempoyak. <laughs> it's it's unbelievable. It's like nothing nothing compares to it. This is the next level. Tempoyak with voodoo 
fermentation on top of fermentation. Okay, I'm gonna take some of the, I got a cucumber handy here. Yeah. I'm gonna just load up my, my cucumber with some tempoyak and voodoo. Oh, and put a chili on top of that. Oh, that is a bite. Cheers, man. <laughs> oh, wow. Mm. That is a, a ripened durian tempoyak. I've said this about 25 times so far since being in Malaysia in like every single video that we'd have tempoyak on this entire trip, which has been every single day. But tempoyak is the ultimate yeah. shock and then joy. Shock and joy. That's what it is. Shock and joy every single bite. This is some, some unripe banana. Okay. Oh. Oh, wow. That's chalky. The shrimp curry. I think it's kind of best to add this to your rice, yeah? yeah? Some of the shrimp curry now, and then also some of the, I think I'll just take a mix of all the dishes. The little snail shells in coconut milk again. Stomach, tripid, tripe, whoa, that's soupy. We're onto this side of the rice. Soup on some more of that soup, that milky, milky soup. And then also what you can do is take some of the, the budu and tempoyak and just sort of put it into your rice so that you can mix it with everything. Okay, I'll try that. Try that tripe. Oh, I got some some tempoyak remains on that bite. <laughs> so soft. It's not even like chewy at all. It's so tender. Okay, I'm gonna try that shrimp next. It's just fully coated in a coconut milk based curry uh, with turmeric, I believe, making it so yellow. I think that's a freshwater shrimp. And then what you do with these little guys is you just kind of suck them out. Mm. Well, I only got half of it. <laughs> okay, I got him. Very small. <laughs> Just like a tiny little micro bite, but really good. And like the sucking action gets, if there's like any curry liquid, it like vaporizes it onto your tongue and you can really get a lot of burst of flavor, even though it's just a tiny amount. It's, it's awesome. And then red, like this. Scooping in with this big a piece of fish. Get that tempoyak onto the rice, onto the rice. And you kind of want to really mix everything together. Get that fish, um, get that fish mixed in with the rice, with the tempoyak, with the budu, with the chili. All of that in one, just ultra powerful, ultra satisfying bite of your lifetime. And let me tell you, that is a bite of your lifetime. Hanging out with the owner now. Terimakasi. Sedak. Sedak. Terimakasi. It was an amazing meal. She's so nice. Again, just so welcoming, so hospitable. Di umi. Di umi. Dumi nasi ulam. It's in Pasir Pasir Mas. Di umi. Okay, we've got one more place to go, which is actually just down the road. Like probably even walking distance from here, but it's in the same area. Famous for a special type of grilled chicken, which is from Kalantan. When we pulled up here, I was afraid they were closed because it looks really quiet and the grill is empty. Uh, but luckily they are open, they have one tray left. I think they open in the morning and then kind of sell out by the afternoon, so we're just here in time to taste it, even though the grill is not full. They got two skewers, they're reheating them for us. This is called Ayam Perchik. It's from Kalantan, it's a ca local Kalantanese style of grilled chicken uh, with coconut cream like barbecue sauce. Once it comes off the grill, then they ladle on some more of the coconut barbecue sauce. It's very light in color. There, you can see a little bit of chilies in there. It's almost like orange, but you can see the creamy richness of the coconut. We're gonna take some to go, but we gotta we gotta sample it right now. So I, I mean, I'm just glad that we got here, and they still have a few pieces left that we could sample. Mm -hmm. <laughs> So rich. It's sweet and nutty. It's really good though. And smoky. 
that sauce that he dipped. Mm. The fresh addition of sauce was awesome. I think they must add a couple of layers of the coconut cream sauce as they grill it, so that those layers caramelize onto the chicken. But then you've also got some fresh coconut barbecue sauce on top of it. Mm. It's so similar, but slightly different to the gaigale. Um, same similar style of coconut milk barbecue sauce chicken that we eat in southern Thailand very frequently. And as I was taking that bite, he came over. I didn't even see him, but he added another ladle of the barbecue sauce all over it. Thank you. Thank you. It's the middle of the afternoon, and we have come to the end of this Kelantanese Malay food tour in Kota and surrounding Kota Baru, Kelantan. I'll have all the information in the description box below. It's been an amazing day, and uh, I love it here. It's so chilled out. It's so relaxed. And the people. I cannot emphasize that enough. Okay, I'm gonna say goodbye from Kalantan, Kota Baru. I wanna say a big thank you for watching this video. Please remember to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Leave a comment below. I'd love to hear from you. And if you're not already subscribed, click subscribe now. And also click that little bell icon so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching. Goodbye from Kalantan. See you on the next video. <laughs>